Oh, there you go, that's the mic. Hey! How's it going, every single person? Today is the 17th of May, 2021. It is... I have lost track of the number of weeks. This is like the 15th or the 16th week of the, the year. Sonic, it's starting to really get there. And you can feel it in the Sydney weather of the recent uh, week. It has been uh, obnoxiously cold for Sydney standards. Um, near me, it's getting like low to like 8 degrees, 7 degrees Celsius at night. And in the day, it only gets up to like 18 or 19. Uh, no rain as well. It is, it is just a horrendous cold. Uh, you know, like, like an England cold, basically. Uh, this is when people go like, oh, like, no, no, it's always cold to me. We're not used to it in Sydney. How do we handle with the cold weather? How does it work? I don't know. So, um, yeah, it's not too bad near me, but it's definitely required a bit of, you know, a couple of runs of Furmark every so often to heat up the room, you know? Um, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, let's hop into the game of the day, uh, which is... It always takes its time. There we go. It's got some sounds. It's got some action, I guess. Mario and his little dinky. There he is. So, today, I will be playing Wario Land Super Mario Land 3. Is this Wario Land trademark Super Mario Land 3, or is this Wario Land Super Mario Land 3 trademark? This was in the day and era of lengthy game titles, the other one being Yoshi's Island Super Mario World 2, which came out after this, and it's just like, man, did you really need to, like, say the game? Like, a lot of kids probably knew who Yoshi was, Wario maybe not as much, but it's like, you don't have to tell people that it's a Mario game, like, it, the cover looks so much like it's a Mario game, so, seems like a bit of a stretch. Uh, Wario Land is a game that I remember playing once, way yonder back. I think it was because I had really wanted to play all the, uh, the Mario Lands and the, the Wario Lands and such. I think it's because I had saw someone play Wario Land 3, like, in old-timey Let's Play form. And so I was like, I want to play that, but I want to play from the beginning. And that is a mindset I have unfortunately kept to this day, which... Uh, yeah, there's a couple of franchises where it's like, yeah, I've definitely played, um, a game, uh, or like, you know, the games in order to a bit of a, a bit of a point where, like, I'm playing, you know, the games that didn't quite make the franchise what it is. Um, Wario Land is a perfect example of one where, off the top of my head, I remember absolutely really liking Wario Land 2, and... I don't remember particularly a ton with the first game, but I know enough mechanics off the top of my head because Brodon John played this game um, only a year or two ago. Uh, he's got a, a bunch of egg sub animations associated with this game, and it's a it's a reasonably all right game. Uh, I will try my best to showcase a fair bit of it as much as I can, but this game has the fortunate benefit of uh, not being beatable in two hours per se, so it's at least got that on me. I think this will just take two streams. I don't think it would be horrendously long, um, but I think it would take two streams, so I'm not expecting to be too done with it right away. Uh, but yeah, the, the main gimmick with Wario Land is that you are not Mario compared to the last game. You are now the villain of franchise where you are after the treasure of Captain Syrup. Now, is that the... is that your treasure that's rightfully yours? Is that Syrup's treasure? I don't know, treasure's treasure. The eternal and perpetual hunt for the booty, as, uh, as it's stated then. Uh, on screen you've got coins, you got, well, you got lives, coins, uh, and hearts. So the, the coins serve as a mild score system, but there's a, there's an end game uh, goal that uh, I eventually want to hit. Um, it's not perpetually impossible though. Uh, that reminds me, by the way, um, 
just if anyone's asking for the the Mario Land 2 uh, material uh, for like any extra things that I didn't show off, I'll try and show them off uh, next week if I have the, the time per se. But I think I'll be good for that. Um, so yeah, but coins are your your mild currency slash score. I'll say score because currency implies that you buy things for them. Um, you just want to collect as many coins as you can. Um, it's not too bad though, because you will have the ability to play through levels again. Uh, when you reach the end of the level, you may notice this, but uh, you're... Effectively, you need to open this gate at the end of the level. Uh, by pressing, holding down up and pressing B. And that will chuck 10 coins out of your inventory, uh, and then that will appear as... Uh, well, then you can chuck it into the gate. Some levels, you don't have to. But okay. Now I ended this level with 51 coins. You're going to see me lose all my money. Or you're going to see me gain my money. This is a game where you get to... You, well, you get the choice of two bonus games. Uh, one, you get to earn hearts, which hearts are used. Uh, they're basically your lives. Uh, well, your coins towards your life. So 100 gives you a life. Uh, and uh, yeah, you get the choice of either getting some more hearts or getting some more money. And this is basically a double or nothing game. You can bail at any point. Or you can just continue trying to double. I'm going to continually pick the left one every single time. And we're going to try and make some money. Uh, the goal is to reach 10,000. That's that's the ultimate goal. And you'll also see that there's 15 things to pick up. If you do both of those, you'll be fine. But you got to watch out because if you do game over, you lose half of that money or one of the treasures. If you have a treasure, that is. We'll get there later. Uh, the treasures are your, your form of replayability, so that's neat. Uh, other than that, it's a rather simple game. Uh, still out on the Game Boy era of video game consoles, so it was not in color. Um, did this come out when the ESRB was out? I don't know, but here we have Power Up 2, uh, which is the Dragon's Breath. The first one was the Bullhorns. Uh, and the bullhorns basically let you, they kind of let you sick on the ceilings, you break blocks a little quicker, and, uh, you can, um, ground pound by holding down. It, it doesn't really look like I was doing anything holding down, but trust me, the power-up does that. Uh, Dragon's Breath lets you breathe out fire and kill enemies right in front of you. Uh, you may not get the coin spoils out of them, but you certainly get one heart, and that's pretty alright. Uh... And also, just generally being able to attack in front of you is neat. Uh, be warned, you will switch power-ups if you do choose so. Uh, you saw a thingy there, by the way. Uh, that thingy uh, was a checkpoint. You can spend 10 coins to activate the checkpoint, and if you die, then you just come back at the checkpoint. Uh, Warrior can take one hit before he becomes tiny, which is convenient because he's small, but not convenient because he can't charge. Uh, the charging is your fun ability of the game, and it's what makes the game reasonably alright. But you can pick up any power-up, and you'll get power-ups pretty often. And you'll fall into the hands of enemies pretty often. Like this guy. What is happening here? The, the timing just seems so bizarre on that one. Uh, and I think that's basically the game explained. Oh my gosh, like, I don't want to deal with that guy. Oh, and I dealt with that guy instead. And this is the other mean thing about the game. You die, all your money's gone. And I skipped the checkpoint, which means the whole level starts all over again. Which is why I feel like this is a more patient game to, to witness. Um, I don't really feel, and especially you can't do too much to go fast. I guess you could do that, but... Uh, yeah, I could go through that whole bit to, to get coins there, but yeah, I guess the question is, how many coins is too many coins? Well, not enough coins. Well, I know, more than 10,000 is, is fine. Um, but since you can replay levels, who knows? Here's power-up number three, by the way. Uh, you can basically cover long horizontal distances. Uh, I think the fun part is that different power-ups or different secrets will require having different power-ups. So you're never truly in a- oh my god, really? You're never in a truly perfect spot. <laughs> they keep giving you everything else. Let's grab the dragon, why not? And I can take out this guy. You can do this, which is good fun. 
But yeah, no charging. That's your one, your one caveat with this thing. But yeah, no, it's been, it's been pretty good time, pretty, pretty fun. Uh, a few whiles uh, on the city land. Um, I think the the best part about the cold weather is that it uh, definitely gives a little bit of purpose, or pur purpose, oh, that's a slip, purpose to heating and other kinds of small goodies. This, this guy, he's got the angry eyes, you know he means serious business. Uh, and yeah, you wanna know what's the worst part? Like, how far away was I from the end of the level? That's a one-up. Uh, well, rather, that wasn't a one-up, I just got 100 of the hearts. There's a time limit. Might be an issue. This is the kind of mean thing, if you hit the end of the level and you do not have 10 coins, you're a little bit stuffed. On top of that, I just ended the level with 8 coins. It doesn't seem that lucrative, but, you know, let's gamble it all away. Because who knows, if I win this, like, I think the odds are there, like, not, not, sorry, like, I know it's a 50-50 of, like, you know, you lose half your money, or, or, you know, rather, 12.5% that you lose, you know, you're down to an eighth of your money. Is that the math? Yeah. If I do this three times, that is, yes. Then, 37.5 chance I just lose half of it. 37.5% chance I I double it, and then 12.5% I get 8 times. And yeah, if I wanted to be the kind of guy who bailed on 4, but why would you do that? Commit. <laughs> Go for 8. Um, now yeah, it, it does seem like, oh, like, maybe, you know, is there not enough, you know, coins or whatever? You gotta, you said you wanted to hit 10,000, bro, like, that's, that's a fair bit. We'll figure things out, I guess. Nothing's, nothing's hugely set in stone, but as I said, you can replay all the levels, so uh, there's nothing that stops you from going back to get more money. And ultimately, it's for a, a single sprite at the end of the game, so how, how much purpose is it really? Uh, but I do want to try and, like, not game over. I want to try and see if I can legitimately play this game, because this, again, was on the list of games that I know I didn't play legit. I know I 100% know off the top of my head I did cheat a bunch of this game, but I do remember more of this game than I did the Mario Lands. Um, so I guess there is that. Um, I think it is because this one came up in, in recent mention, but I think the other thing that's also kind of nice about, uh, about, um, just like this kind of game this is real, like, simple, dumb, fun game. It's... It's a little bit, uh, too simple. Like, I kind of just explained the entire game. And we've seen all the power-ups. Uh, I believe you go down on this first one. I wonder if the coins are better on later levels, who knows, but... Yeah, no, it's been... It's been pretty good, and, uh... Yeah, oh, lots of lots of blocks over it. I think the other fun thing about this being on the, the Game Boy, as opposed to a Game Boy Color, is that you, you encounter sprite limits so quick on this game. Uh, this game, 100%, like, it doesn't... The Game Boy, the original Game Boy, is tough for me to judge because I don't know like what exactly like pushes it that hard. But just the added clock of the Game Boy Color and just like things being in color really, really help. Because when it's in black and white, you know, like there's there's times like I was demoing this earlier and the next level has lava and I just did not realize it was lava. I just saw liquid. So. Which, yeah, it puts us in a bit of a weird, weird spot where, um, yeah, like, technology is advancing, of course. And it's like, you know, black and white stuff is, like, becoming more and more, well, obsolete in the sense of, like, there is no cost now to, like, have something in color. To just get color phosphors, color LEDs, like, 
you know, commit to having things in color. But yeah, that was, that was an era way back when, when things could only be in black and white. They were filmed in black and white, then they were filmed in color, but could only be broadcast in black and white, and then uh, you had video games come out, and you had things like the Vectrix, which could not do color unless you overlaid some, you know, a sheet of paper over it that would uh, display light <laughs> in a certain color. We had the Game Boy here, which, you know, is green and black. This is a black and white variation of, uh, of it, but... You know, you play it, you play it digitally, you play it, or well not digitally, but like you play it on, on the Super Game Boy and it's like, this is, this is all the game could do. It could only display four different colors, <laughs> two different shades of gray. Uh, I'm waiting here because the level design requires it. But yeah, no, legit. There's only four palettes of color there. Having gray is a, is, you know, great for the Game Boy. Like, at least it's got that. Also, oh. Okay, real talk, when I did, like, my original Let's Play of this, and this was back in 2008, so, like, who the heck, you know, filmed in 60 FPS. Oh boy, this is a game that, like, you need 60 FPS. Like, to truly, like, figure out what is happening, because there's so many, like, effects and stuff like that. Where it's just like, okay. So this is supposed to be lava, by the way. I did not catch that when I, when I booted this back up again, and I was like, oh, no, nah, really? The jerks with this as well. This is the fourth level out of... 40. It's definitely, uh, more obvious coins in this level, though. So they got that, at least. But, yeah, I... Black and white stuff is is interesting because like on the one hand there's um there's a uh, a textural not textural what's the term there's a stylistic reason why you would use black and white maybe nowadays but it's one where it's like you know you have to be doing it specifically for the vintage aspect uh, I've got 53 coins which means I could have barely any coins later well <laughs> we're on track for that uh, this is the Blendo loses all his coins by constantly picking left. Strategy. Oh, okay, okay. It's not a complete bust. I don't think I'm going to be playing that many levels to commit to taking, like, 52 coins. I'd rather lose 26, because there was the possibility of gaining 52. Like, I feel like, you know, if I try this enough, the odds of getting 8 times, like, will outweigh the fact that I may also lose an 8. Because in the end, you know, say, say for example I ended... Um, you know, eight levels with a hundred coins each. This is the math. If I ended eight levels with a hundred coins, one of those endings I would end with 12 coins, three of those I would end with 50, three of those I would end with 200, and one of those I would end with 800. The 800 and the two 200s would add up to 1400 coins, which, since I ended eight levels with a hundred coins, that's a win anyways. Uh, and then the other, you know, the other four were like, what is that, like, another 162? So it's like, okay, so I, I would end with 1562. The odds are I'm more than likely gonna at least almost double my coins. Like, you know, repeating that over and over again. I think that's how the math works, I don't know. Yeah, there may be levels where it's like, oh, I may lose some coins, but... Levels where I gain coins. That's where the magic happens. Uh, there's a checkpoint thing there. This is a boss level. I know that off the top of my head, so... Some of these enemies are jerks, so I don't know what's going on with them. At least you can pick up a lot of enemies. Much more intuitive than, than Mario 2. So I'm surprised, at least, that, like, yeah, I, I guess home consoles were in an interesting time because a lot of them came out after color television. Um, and so that's a fun one where it's like, we've got, we've got the Game Boy here, so, dang it. Dang it, that's a big dang it because we've got a boss right here. 
So, if I goof, then, oh boy, a whole level again. Alright, so this boss is... I was gonna say predictable. I can never judge the timing on the end there. That's, that's my problem there, so... I'm not particularly good at that. Uh, yeah, I I can't think of like too many video games that are not on the Game Boy that aren't in some form of color. Um, I want to say off the top of my head, there's bound to be like another you know handheld system out there, like the Game Boy is. Can't be the most exclusive one. And the Vectrix, of course. The Vectrix. Can't forget the Vectrix. Um, you've definitely got, like, you know, consoles with very limited color palettes. Like, uh, the 2600 could only support so many uh, colors at once. It was like, was it actually four colors? And then, like, it had to choose them out of a palette of... I don't think it was out of a palette of 16. Maybe actually no, it could display more than four colors because it had these like fun gradients. Unless it could like shift them on a, on a horizontal basis. That's the that's the fun part of, of uh, that era. It's just like you know what can you do with um, <laughs> you know <laughs> what available technology. I um I really enjoyed the uh, the the Game Hut videos uh, when they were more prominent coming out, because there were a lot of cool things like, um, there you go, I'm not falling for that one now. There's a lot of cool, cool, like, tricks that were shown off in that, of how to make, yeah, things on the Genesis, for example, look way better than, you know, the Genesis typically could. Uh, so yeah, so the trick with this boss is that you jump over him, and then you just kind of bonk him on the underside of the head, and then he will try it again. Uh, he follows you, which is why it threw me off a little bit, because I got the timing really wrong. But he's in the shell for a while before he starts moving. That was a good boss. Then you gotta be rich. Now this is the thing, I think you can only do the bosses once, so me getting a lot of coins now is not gonna be a sign for the rest of the game. Uh, but, if I lose all the money, you know, does it really matter that I got all these coins? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> it's that, I'm at least halving this. I don't think you can go above 999 in a single go, though. This is the time that it actually had to count as well. That's... that's remarkable. Is it actually gonna be it? Ah. Oh. <laughs> well... That's a bummer. Maybe I actually should've cut my loss on that one. Oh well. Yeah. So still, no treasure for the moment. Don't don't worry, that will come very, very shortly. And yes, I gotta wait for this. And he's off. And that's uh the end of the world. We got Mount Teaport. Teapoint. Oh, did you think that this was level 6? It's level 7, bro. Get on my level. And look at that. Vertical scrolling. Because, uh, yeah, someone forgot. JC, it's a bomb. And also level designs that do that. But yeah, I I always get thrown off because, um... Because, yeah, Mario Land 2 did this, so why can Mario Land not do this? And it ends up doing it eventually, but... Where it counts, the water levels. Warrior is a class act. He's surrounded by coins everywhere. Real talk though, I like the idea of making this around coins. Just because it gives Wario that like personality that he's, you know, had. Uh, it makes the game a little more slower pace. Setting it aside from how Mario typically works. Uh, I think I need, like, the... Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Um. Go 
I should have, like, demonstrated that. Oh my gosh, really? I'm not particularly good at this. I also keep forgetting that it goes down faster when you're holding down. Then this happens, and you just, like, <laughs> what do you do then? But now, uh, yeah, like, oh, I guess, I guess a lot of mobile devices way back yonder were black and white. Um, even, like, post Game Boy. Uh, like, it really took a while for, like, people to pick up on color phones, because the idea of the smartphone... Side note, I, the name smartphone. Just, can, can we come up with a different name? At some point, we're gonna figure out a device that's smarter than it. Um, but it's like, yeah, like, we got the smartphone, and there's devices, certainly, sorry, uh, you know, e every smartphone is in color. Maybe not, actually, maybe not everyone. Was the Kindle technically running Android? I don't think it was, but I, I think there's a hundred percent of phone out there that did the e-ink strat. Um, so there's some things out there that are probably in, in black and white. Uh, for the most part, though, they are designed with a color audience and a color screen in mind. You 100%- Oh, you don't need the dragon breath, you just need to push him off. There you go. What do you do about that? goes for the grab. Ah, oh, the jerk. Well, it's the end of the level, so that's okay. I'm also gonna give myself a safety net on this one. Uh, as in the safety net is if I game over. Because I don't really want to lose my money. I think the money is actually the more annoying part to have to get back, so if I game over, I would rather have a treasure. Unfortunately, there's a treasure up for grabs. Unfortunately, there's me getting crushed by this as well. Well, <laughs> no money for me. Definitely more money, but. See how we go. So I believe if I back out of uh, that level, I didn't. I don't think I had to do that level. But yeah, you can go back into an older level. And a mild gimmick is that the levels have changed slightly, particularly levels one and three. Now the water level is slightly higher, which gives you the ability to swim on top of this. But you also notice that wonderful thing. So, grab this dragon hat. Your goal is probably to get a key. I believe it's around here somewhere, I think. I think it's this one. There you go. Grab the key. Come back. Push it off. <sighs> BRB, I'm getting a power up again. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Uh, love hate relationship. 
not healthy, I guess. <laughs> Oh, I could just do that instead. Just, mmm. Wreck my business. <sighs> oh well. So on the topic of, uh... Technology and uh, all that stuff, and then making a, uh, there's X reference. Uh, I played a few games over the past week that I had finished. Uh, I guess the obvious one was Mario Galaxy, that was on stream. Um, but uh, I also had finished F1 2018. It's an alright game. Uh, too much of the same of the last game. Uh, and now, starting 2019, it's like still the same as the last game. Uh, it's got the same tracks, it really feels the same. It's got F2, which is kind of frustrating in how it, how it controls. Oh my gosh. Oh, am I actually going to touch it anyways? I am going to touch it anyways. This is a rather frustrating design choice, isn't it? Now that I have to continue on a significant portion of the level and not touch any of these crabs until I can find the elusive one power-up somewhere later in this level and then wander all the way back. I think that was a power-up in here. No, there wasn't. <laughs> Is that a power-up? No, and... okay. Uh, okay, but uh, yeah, uh, game number two was F1, uh, game number three was uh, Pikmin. Pikmin is a game that I had owned for the longest time and I never really got past uh, like a day eight. And I had a friend really, really want me to play the game, so I'm like, fine, I'll do it. Uh, I think it took up just about like six hours. Not too long. If you have a friend really encouraging you, it's not too bad. You do kind of have to wrestle with some of the mechanics a bit in the game. Uh, but you don't particularly have to, um, have to be too good at it. Uh, which I think is the part that scares a lot of people when they play, uh, Pikmin. Is that they see, like, a bunch of Pikmin die and then go, oh no, I'm gonna be absolutely stuffed. But you'd be surprised how resilient your, uh, your party in Pikmin can be. You don't have to particularly, like, keep a lot of you guys alive. You can spend, uh, whole days going to the first area in the game and just grinding up some more units, especially because they've barely got any enemies and they got a lot of, a lot of the big seed reserves in that level, so, uh, that seems to be the, the spot. I ended up not having to rely on that, um, so that actually was pretty okay, but 100%, like, and, and also, it's actually quite hard to have a day where you either aren't building bridges or picking up two things. Um, it, it seems that, like, I was like, okay, I might, sometimes I spent a day and I didn't get anything, but I'd be building bridges, I'd be clearing off enemies, and then as long as I'm clearing off the whole area, eventually, uh... It worked out. It was like, oh, okay. Um, I think the other thing as well is that you get, like, there's only three real main areas of the game. You do have to inevitably go back to the first area just for one loose power-up at some point. And speaking of one loose power-up. Look at that! I don't know what it is. This also... Does this exit the level? Oh, I don't think it does. I think it just pops me back there. Yeah. He just chucks it up there, so... So, yeah, if you game over, you lose one of those. And if you don't have any of them, you lose half your coins. So, keep them tight, because then you just have to go back to an old level and get it any time you game over. And preferably play a level where you've got enough coins. Oh, sorry, play a level where you, got, uh, where you get enough lives. Very aerodynamic swimmer. 
Um, but no, yeah, it, it actually was surprisingly alright. Um, yeah, I was surprised by how how smoothly uh, even the final boss went. Like, eh, it's, he's a bit of a spook, but he's not he's not too rough. It's not too rough. You can spot what he's doing uh, a mile away. He ends up being not too bad. Uh, this is the other one as well. You can hop over the end of the level to reveal another spot where you can dish your savings. And now I will lose all my money yet again. Oh, getting somewhere! So, yeah. But Pikmin was alright. Um, yeah, the controls were a bit frustrating though. Like, I actually found that, like, there were quite a few times I would just have Pikmin just not go on a bridge or fall on the water. And it's just, you can't, you can't do anything about that. Woo, the left one works every time! Hey! Big money, big prizes. And that's, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm just hoping that, like, every so often, you get a fair bit of money. Um, and then just, yeah, if I can get 10,000 by the end of the game, I'll be happy. And, yeah, as long as I'm not losing half my money. That's, <laughs> that's the key thing you want to watch out for. Uh, this also unlocks a new level going that way. And this is that elusive course number six that I mentioned earlier. Comes with a power up. Why not? Oh, these little, little coin things. Okay. I think this is legitimately like a bonus level. In fact, look how many coins these things give. Eleven. And then the level ends. Sure. I feel like you could just try this level over and over again and you'll just eventually get the coins. And if you really wanted to, you could you could do the uh the lives game as well if you wanted to add it. So sure, I'll take it. Gosh, I'm rolling in it right now. This is this is dream luck right here. Uh Wow, okay. Alright, well I'm I'm a happy guy. So, yeah, I guess I'll come back here if I really need to get more coins. Unless it's locked off, but I don't think it is locked off. Loads of money! Yeah, no, Pikmin was alright. Maybe one day I would play Pikmin on stream, but... Eh, it's... it's... Honestly, like, when, when Chugga does a game, it's like, eh, how, mu how much better can you do it? And, unless it's a game that you can play rather differently? Like, Pokemon, you can get away with it. But, Pikmin? I don't know. So, let's just exit out of that level, and let's go north. Also, this game is very nice, and saves all the time. I... I want to exit the level. Maybe I just hit B. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... I, I love just, like, the name, Mr. Teapot. Alright. Oh. Still more of the same of this stuff, but... Oh, more power-up. And yeah, you can do that dash off platforms, which is so good. This does suck you backwards, okay, so I gotta come over from this direction and go back in. Yeah, okay. And hold up, and then you're good. Okay, sweet. Oh, it's a level that goes in two axes. 
<laughs> okay. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Pelipa. Dead. Wow. At least you can break the block still as as a small warrior. At least I've got that. Um Yeah, no, playing a game on stream when a big let's player has done it, uh Actually, did he ever do the first Pikmin? They played it as the runaway guys, it counts, I guess. Um Yeah, it's definitely an interesting one. Um I'm not one to play games because other people play them, um, so I like playing games that people haven't necessarily played, or games that I particularly just really, really like, and yeah, in this case, this is a game <laughs> that, uh, clearing off a certain, I was gonna say a bucket list, that sounds a bit too young for a bucket list, but, but you know what I mean, the, uh, the perspective you know, here is a game that I don't think I ever did justice, and this is what I can do about it. I'm beginning to try and ride the scree. Tootie throws knives! This is a fun power-up, by the way, because it lets you jump high. Uh, I wonder how you actually exit out of this area. Like, they make it look like you can go up here. Like that, there you go. Hey. I think I need to play the level again just to get the other <laughs> exit. Time to lose all my money because the odds are happening in this direction. Oh, okay. Not all the money, but some of the money. Ah, the garden. Oh well. Uh. So, game number four. I know, right? Four games in the week. Granted, F1 was a long, long haul. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy was for the stream. And, uh, this one I had been on and off every so often, but I did kind of, like, sit down and really dedicate playing it. By the way, this, I believe, leads into the next world, I think. Like, you're just already there. Um... So, this is course 14, I guess. It's got bridges. I kind of like the idea that like all the levels are based on food as well. Brings a theme to whatever bizarre land Wario land is. This is not even Wario's own land. He just rocked up here on a boat. Yeah, this uh, the jet pack. The jet cap is uh, making my life a little easier on this level. And then they give you the dragon, just to, just in case you wanted the dragon. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling gutsy without a checkpoint. Oh, this is this is gonna be absolutely fun with the with the jump though. How high up the, the game boy do they want you to go? Bonk. So, yeah, so Deus Ex. That's a game that, uh, what's the, the phrase? Every time someone mentions Deus Ex, someone reinstalls it. Uh, it ended up being me at some point. Uh, and gosh, like, playing the game again, it's like, man, it's, it's a really good game. Like, there's the memes of like, oh, like, you know, oh, it's a... Actually, I think the thing is that a lot of people get spooked because they play the first level and then they realize that their accuracy is really bad. And the answer is... Yes. 
This is this is a movie. He's he's just here, but uh, beware the ice. There's ice everywhere. Um, but yeah, no, Deus Ex is a game where like, please bear with the accuracy. It gets better real quick. Like you have to be able to continue the game, regardless of what you do. I think this is the like one of the strengths of the game is the fact that no skill is locking. There. The only, like, actual ability- oh Yeah, no. No skill is locking, really. Smart resource management really gets you far. Um... But yeah, and-, and but the level design is so, like, top-notch. The only thing I can say is that, like, some skills, like, environmental, are just- They get a bit of a backseat. Um, they're not as important as they really could be. Uh... So, I could be that kind of guy who continues on, but I'm gonna, like, sit back and go back to level 7, because uh, if you want all the treasure, you gotta get all the treasure. Uh, so we have a level that you may have seen already. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, like, it, they really do allow you to do whatever you want, and if anything, I think Deus Ex is probably the first like, one of those, you know, choose your own... <laughs> is the term choose your own adventure game uh, too tongue-in-cheek? But it's definitely, like, that feeling where, like, you have the ability to pick whatever tool set you think is appropriate to go into a scenario. And the game really lets you do whatever. Except for talking people out of things. Because this was before talking people out of things was uh, actually gameplay mechanic in, in a lot of games. Uh, so instead, the best you got is sneaking past things, or, um... Or, uh... You know, being able to combat the heck out of them. The nice thing I, I like about the game is that, uh, it's got boss battles. It's, or it's got, like, you know, intentional, uh, conflicts that arise. But, yeah, there's, there's no particular, like, thing that's better or worse, uh, for the job. You can use melee weapons, you can use explosives, you can use, like, regular pistols or whatever. You get a... You know, a good variety of weapons, at least back in back in the day, like, you know, people didn't mind about those weapons. I think the only thing I found is that, like, oh my goodness, I would keep picking up combat knives off every single guard, and it's like, yeah. Like, they introduce the best melee weapon in the game way too early. And in doing so, you end up, you know, if you if you put any points in the melee, it's like, yep. This game is a bit of a cakewalk at that point, because almost every guard will just fall over with one hit. The men in black, two hits, and they blow up, but it does rely you to melee things, but, you know, then, then you just go, oh, well, I've got an ability that lets me heal, which, it, it's, it's just, yeah, it's, it's a little bit like, okay, they, they, there's some things that they can't exactly balance per se. Uh, I also found the rocket launcher to be rather good on this run-through. I don't remember it being this good, but I was able to use it whenever there was a boss and absolutely cream the boss and then use it whenever I wanted to blow open a wall and then I just had lambs if I wanted to blow open walls and I wasn't really, you know, scraping for resources. Um, so yeah, I found it a little easier than I expected, but I think that's something to be quite nice is that, not that, not necessarily that it's easier than I expected, but that it wasn't as obnoxious as I expected. There wasn't really any part of the game that I thought, oh, this part. Um, it kind of was like, you know, it's a real smooth ride, and the whole thing was a good, fun, in, uh, fun game, which I think is great. Isn't, shouldn't every game strive to be like that? So... Yeah, nah, it's, it's a, it's a great game. I think everyone should play it. Like, 100%. Just, just start to finish. Uh, I guess another thing is that the endings are mostly a whatever you do at the very, very end of the game and don't really have any basis on what you did in the middle. Um, there's a lot of fun, like, dialogue differences that you'll get as you progress through the game and do things differently to other people. Uh, whoa. I'm not a big fan of crabs. Ah, yes. Can't escape the screen-based, you know, levels. This is Kirby. 
Someone's gonna yell at me because I've only played like two Kirby games. That's the one Nintendo franchise I uh, have not and probably won't touch with uh, too much of a pole. Checkpoint? Yeah. Usually the odd door is a checkpoint. Oh, okay. Another another one of the jets. I, I feel like the jet is my go-to, because it just gets me out of trouble. Yeah, oh, watch out for these guys. Coming up from underneath is, is a strat, though, at least. You always want to approach from underneath and just let them fall off screen, I guess. The danger, danger position right there. There we go, we got a key. Because you don't get it between doors. Between rooms. Um. Uh. Am I doing something wrong? I'm very certain the, the door is here. There it is. Just... Put this here. Who was like, yep, that's that's where that goes. Like people will definitely find that. That's a Nintendo power like move right there. Well, that's two treasures, so that's good fun. Deus Ex, it's a great game and, and everyone should play it. I always, I always remember way back when, uh, and is this two videos? I don't think I mentioned Sammy Classic Sonic Fan last week, but I definitely mentioned him a, a bit ago. I remember he made a video saying Deus Ex Review, and uh, in it he basically called it a Minecraft clone, which is hilarious. Um, but, uh, <laughs> like... I, I don't think he had played the game, I think he had seen two screenshots of it. Um, yeah, the graphics are kind of fucked, I will say that. Um, I think they serve the purpose. Like, the Unreal Engine does two things really good. Water, and water levels. <laughs> uh, but the scale of some of the levels is great. Like, just the amount of, like, you know, being able to, you know, have like this giant building and then be able to go through the building and then it's just like various floors of the building it's it's a great feeling and it's something that yeah i wish that more games had uh i i got that feeling mildly with um uh the gdas um like gda4 that have like some levels uh from time to time and it's like oh you'd like walk into a building and then suddenly you know you're doing all this stuff inside the building and gda5 actually does it a little bit as well and it's like yeah if, if you really like flesh out the interior of a place and like it it's rather seamless and you didn't just like you know fade to a, a different map the feeling is great i love these like little bonus bits here though and it's like if you got the right power up at the right moment oh no oh the worst part is that i'm small so i don't get the jet i get the Oh no, I do get the jet. Okay, this game's great. What do you do here, though? <laughs> Are you coming from the other side? No, nope. well, I guess you do have to be small. Hmm. 
slightly bizarre, but sure. And Wario is climbing his way to space. Oh, don't you dare again. Checkpoint, probably. I'm not too sure where they're pulling down here. Oh, cool. oh hey! Yeah, okay, I'll leave it at that. So, uh, but no, yeah, it's it's a great game, and I would 100% just like keep recommending it. And it goes for so cheap on sales, and so I don't think there's any strong reason why it should be, you know, a dedicated part of anyone's Steam library. Um, like 100%. Um, what else do I really like about the game? The writing, uh, rather, rather base. Always, always good. Um, but just things like, even, you know, so many of the themes still work. Ah, oh, that's just, that's just cool. Well, at least I can have the regular hat, but... Also, I guess I know that there's plenty of jets on this level, so... At least it's that, but I don't think I'm going to be able to keep it for the end of the level. So I think the level ends just about here. Just a little bit to teach you that you can climb horizontally as well. Mario is pretty happy about that move though. And time to waste all my money yet again. I wonder what's next. So, I'm bound to not have this many games cleared uh, next time. I think I actually am probably just going to replay GTA 5 again. I think I've uh, had a couple of friends really get into um, playing the online again. And uh, I had not played the online since 2017. So... Or was it 2016? It might have been a fair while ago. Um, but it's, uh, it's definitely a game that... I do enjoy, even if it is, you know, it's GTA 5, it's, uh, is it the best selling or one of the f fastest selling when it came out kinds of games? Tetris is a weird one, because it's like, what do you count as Tetris? Because, like, Tetris, just like, ah, oh, yes, Tetris, like, the franchise is the best selling video game franchise of all time. I'm like, okay, Tetris the franchise, but not Tetris the singular game, because at some point, you know, Tetris the singular game is developed, like, by ten different people for ten different consoles. Like, we gotta draw a line somewhere, so... You know, at least GTA 5, you can go, it's one game on one console, except there's an enhanced version, but you can still make the case that it sold incredibly quick on just the 360 and PS3. Like, easy. Also, 360 and PS3. Do you, do you feel old yet? It actually wasn't that long ago. They came out, like... I, I remember, GTA 5 came out, like, months before the release of the consoles that came after it. Um, and then they put it on PC, like... Very weird move. They're still not putting Red Dead 1 on PC. That's not a halfway, is it? No, that's... Continuation of the level. I think it's Sonic the Hedgehog. I can't do, I can't do anything about that. Mm. One day I'll figure it out, but today is not that day. I was thinking like, oh, are they gonna put this, put a jet here? Yeah. But where is the key? <laughs> may or may not just literally be on the next uh, ledge up here. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the other weird thing as well. You gotta throw the key up the ledge. Uh, which I have probably bunged up pretty bad. I don't know. I can keep putting it up there on, on the right. I didn't completely bung up. And in here we have... Oh my gosh, a treasure! Again! Wow! Amazing! Cool! Put it on the mantelpiece! Wonderful! this mechanic again. And the jerk enemy just to go with it. He's, he's just so in the way. Let me be patient on this guy. He's just here. Uh-oh! We got the star! Time to get 11 hearts per enemy! And you gotta watch out for the lava. Uh... Yeah, it's... I think if there's one thing I've really appreciated just about the last week, it's that, like, you know... Some things can be quiet. Oh! <laughs> Hey Mateo, I 100% I missed your message like six minutes ago. I, I just like glanced back and I'm like, oh, look at that, there's a lie. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, like I I kind of appreciate just like, you know, a bit of, a bit of quiet time and a bit of just, you know, focusing on the things you really like. Uh, and one thing I really like is having dumb luck every time I hit the left, the left bucket. Listen, I'm a terrible person. If you ask me to pick a number between 1 and 10, I'm going to be one of the 3.5% of people who will say 1. Uh, <laughs> it's 1 for a reason. And the level keeps continuing on. What is to be found in level 12? I've got these chickens. They're probably hens, but I, I don't know. How do you- what is like the major identification like between a chicken or like a rooster and a hen? Because it's like, I'm- my brain is going like, okay, uh, uh, like, you know, one's female, one's male, like, so. <laughs> don't- don't look on the underside of the chicken. Don't look for the, uh, the chicken's chicken, if you know what I mean, but. You know what I mean, it's like... We got booze. And I'm terrible. Mm. Well, there goes my jet. How many lives do I have? Still seven? Eight. It's even better. And... In one fell swoop. Nine. I'm not too sure what the chickens are really doing. Sure. Um... But like, yeah, like if you had a... Can you have a chicken? Or, or can you have a rooster that looks just like a, a hen? Or is there like some actual, like, you know, real major differences between them? I guess in the same sense of like, you know, how, how different looking uh, males and females and, and humans and I'm bound to extrapolate. There's probably a lot of species out there that have those major differences, so fair enough. Alright, how do I deal with the ghost? Just grab him! Chuck him in the pit! <laughs> Give him none of your time. Maybe that is life lessons for us all to learn. If you're being bothered by a ghost, throw him into a pit and give him none of your time. And I nearly <laughs> butchered that one up for me, but almost. We got lava in the water. 
these guys just throw a sword at you? Oh, and it comes back. <laughs> it comes back. It's not a sword at that point. I love, like, okay, the number of, like, you know, like, scimitars in media that come back. Like, that. that is not at all how they work, but sure. <laughs> so good. Ah, you thought this level would have ended like any other level. Well, hit that switch and the top is shut. <laughs> Which is an interesting way to, to end the level. I guess that's another thing neat about this game is that like, it is very much a sequel to Mario Land 2. But it does feel like it's got a fair number of ideas on its own, even if every level, you know, is still kind of mostly the same, you know. Loads of money! Mario's pretty happy about that, though. Does that put me at a very perfect number? Oh boy, 2001! Hey! So Wario realizes that if you go back to level 10, it's actually level 13 now. So just just remember that level, level 6 was after level 3. Uh, and level 13 is also level 10. Ooh, that's a bomber man right there. Um... So yeah, note your level order. You, you, you gotta write this down for the test. Oh, really? 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 That gets stuck to you? Come on, game. I'm an only guy. Alright. Get out. Oop. Oop. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. need to break as many blocks as I can. Uh... What am I getting at this way? Oh, the boss! Cool. Oh, oh. He thought he'd get me on that one. I didn't expect the power of the dragon breath here. Yeah. Oh, it's just stuns. He wants to really chuck him. Oh wait, you gotta, you gotta chuck him off. See ya. There you go. A bit mean with that, because I can't charge, so... Oh well. <laughs> the warrior is pretty happy. The left bucket is the left bucket. Alright, real talk. The market for things. This is a 100% tangent. The market for everything 
is so scuffed right now. This is this is under the uh, the the topic of Wario getting lots of money. Wow, there you go. I hit the 999 again. Well, pays sometimes. Um, I don't, I don't think I've had uh, that many like triple triple like eights. Well, that puts me out of a nice whole number, doesn't it? The worst part is that I still think I'm going to be like slightly behind and I do need to grind for a bit of money uh, next week, but I think I should be good to, yeah, beat this whole game in two streams. Oh boy, I gotta do this. But yeah, no, the market for things is absolutely scuffed, okay? Like, real talk, I'm in the look for a guitar, just an acoustic guitar, nice and simple practice instrument, because I really want to kind of learn how to play one. Oh boy, it's like my local music shop, it's like you got the lower, the cheaper ones, then you got the ones that are a little bit above, and the ones that are a little bit above are all sold out, and you basically gotta like go up to like $600 by that point. I'm like, man. Stovi Canyon. Oh yeah, it costs 20 by the way, we're already at 20. Uh, we got Lava Wall. I'm gonna take the charge any day. Love the music here, by the way. This game definitely had that, uh, that wonderful, like, nasally Wario sound to it. Whoa, <laughs> I'm cutting it real fine, aren't I? Oh, should I have gone south? I might have. I should have gone south, maybe. Oh, there's a lot of coins in there. Ah, that actually would have been like pain for me, maybe. Let's do the can can. Uh, but yeah, legit, like, you can barely buy, like, a guitar even, which is, like, you know, what's, what's this whole working from home situation with guitars, man? What's, what's bound to be the, the explanation is people pick up hobbies from home. Uh, oh my gosh, he's coming at me again. I should have known. Oh, did I really? I did miss a treasure. Nice. Okay. And this guy's terrorizing the ground here. And that was the end of the level. I could have kept my power up. And that was the end of the level. Ah, darn. Well, at least I always like that. You do get to get out of being tiny at the end of the level. Mario gets crushed by 10 ton freaking weights. Uh, so, the other example I had was, uh, someone sent me a computer deal which had a 10700K and, like, a real overkill, like, Z590 motherboard and a 3070. It was a gigabyte one. The 3070 was marked at 2 grand Australian. The processor, 589, which I believe is a little under its MSRP and the motherboard was, like, 400, I think. It was quite high, but it's like, the overall cost was like 2900 or so. The deal was getting all that for 2300 and I'm like, that graphics card should be $1,200 less. Uh, so I'm going back into this level because I do want that treasure. Here's a question, should I be going back for the other world? I'm going to try and give myself as much time as possible. That's actually terrible. Because now I can't zoom. Well, okay, now I really can't zoom. Psh. What a shame. I don't think... I don't know if you can exit a level from the... From pausing. I guess test now. While I'm at it. Pause. Hit select. B, A, nah. Nah. I think I want that because it's 
that's gonna get me through these breaks a lot quicker. Oh yeah, and you can also stick to the ceiling, which might be a bad thing for me. Maybe, we'll see. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Find the key. That seems to be an issue. Oh, I think I realized the, the block I missed. Oh, I jumped over him that time, so. Continues to get no money. Would it be a more economical use of my time to not do the bonus levels here? Or, eh, yeah, just, just continue on. Hey, it worked out. I think, I think graphics cards are probably the most woefully misused uh, tool of the bunch right now. Uh, crypto is a bit of a... Sham isn't really the, the most idyllic word, but... Hopefully the... You know, the bang is there. Like, I, I understand that there's value in cracking MD5, and this is a method of turning computer work into proof of work. That's what I wanted. There we go. Oh, but now I need a vault. Oh, I guess I could just go on top here. Should be okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, but it's it's just a it's just a doozy. It's like mm, like it, it shouldn't have a trillion dollars of capital. How it how are people like? Pros prospectively worth there to be a trillion dollars of, like, industry. Like, out of, like, Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, it's like, uh, sub Nintendo Gaming, how's it going? Um, yeah, there's just so much money in, in Bitcoin, it's crazy. And, no sorry, not just money in Bitcoin, money prospectively in Bitcoin, as in, so many people trade in stuff they don't have, and... Like, I understand, like, you know, investment is capital. Investment is worth. Investment is what drives... Man, there's a lot of <laughs> buttons on the other... A lot of other things in the, in the other world. Maybe I'll go back for that world. Um, there's a lot of, you know, worth out of buying something that doesn't necessarily have, you know, the money made yet. But it's like... Like, I don't think Bitcoin is it. Bitcoin is not it. I'm under this principle that, like, you know, once once we all reach the, uh, the, the, the hive mind, um, you know, state in, in 80 or so years, it'll happen. Um, I don't really see there being too much a use of money per se. I think you'll definitely get things like, uh, like value equations, uh, kick in, of course. Like, your work, uh, you're just playing Mario Kart. Ah, which one? Um, yeah, you'll definitely get, like, value calculations, and obviously, like, you can say, well, value is therefore a currency of some kind, but I think that's not really a currency as much as it's a, a hierarchy. You're going to be sorted out by who is performing the best and who is not performing the best. Um, can I not go up to... Oh, I gotta go that way. <laughs> okay. Oh, there he goes. Okay, special cup 100cc. 
Ah. A fifteen. That's uh, Italian for fifteen. And we got ice physics. You know how this is gonna end. Well. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's that's a good. That's a good. See you, level. Oh, I'm the hedgehog right here. He's coming for me as well. Ah! <laughs> he knows. I guess I'm gonna have to. Die, Sonic the Hedgehog. Checkpoint. I'm doing pretty good in, in not investing in the checkpoints. But now I've got a legitimately platform. Or do I? I don't think I need the bullhorns. Yeah, I need the bullhorns. <laughs> that's not even the bullhorns though, that's the problem. It's, it's a regular hat if you don't have the bullhorns. Ah, oh, Really? So if I had my, my thingy for like one extra bit more, I would have been able to get in there. Ah. Uh. So, yeah, I like a as as a disgruntled individual who cannot purchase uh, graphics. Oh, maybe they flip. They will flip. Okay. Yeah, as a disgruntled person who cannot purchase. Uh, a graphics card right now, and granted, I got a 1080 Ti, the thing does really well, but it's like, you know, what if... Oh, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Get him out of there. Uh, yeah, like, I would like a, uh, a, uh, you know, an RTX card. It'd be neat. I, I could RTX. And, uh, yeah. That's, that's, uh, like, the back order is so hard right now, on everything, really, that it's just like, you know, you can't, you can't even. And, yeah, I'm, I'm concerned that, yeah, it, it's this kind of, like, I mean, some of this is, is crypto craze, and then some of it is work from home and having to have important tools at home. And, uh... I don't know, it's it's a toughie. It's a toughie. I don't really know how to how to categorize it. Now you can probably tell from the icon on the map that there is a secret exit in this. In this level, so I shall proceed to try and get this secret level. It's an easy way of doubling the content. <laughs> Not doubling the content, but you know what I mean, like Mario World. It's just like, ah, okay, so. You know, you, you gotta exit, you, you gotta not just beat every level, you gotta get every exit of every level. You technically don't have to, I think. <laughs> I don't think anything really stops you, but... Uh, apart from, like, having to access certain levels or certain things, like, obviously this world, I think, is actually... Like, a, is this a secret world? Maybe. I don't remember too much of this. Ah, oh, dang it, Sonic the Hedgehog, get out of there. I'm gonna skip the dragon this time, and I'm just gonna commit to going down the conveyor. That is a smooth way of exiting that headache. Whatever does that mean? Hey, 
go. Platforming away. So the other thing I kind of like about this game is that it saves every level, which means... Oh, I guess Mario Land 2 did that as well, yeah. So, yeah, if anything haywire happens, just... I'm there at the level. So the trick with this is to not be the kind of guy who goes for the end of the level, but instead the guy who goes off the stairway to heaven at the end of the level. Where there is a secret door. And in that secret door is... Another secret door. And inside that secret door is... Uh... Probably the motive to flick the platforms back off. Probably don't want to jump down that, that gutsy then. There you go. Be that kind of guy who thinks that you need to pick up the heart. I'll do that. Just for the sake of it. There we go. More buckets. More head trauma. <laughs> Thank you, Warrior. Appreciate it. Really copying it, isn't it? Hey, he's getting the goods. So this way is actually level seventeen. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just, just don't deal with them. Get him. There you go. Hot money. Yeah, I feel comfortable with the jet. The jet seems to be doing me well. Ah, now we got a key. Alright, so this will be the... The tricky part, I guess. It's keeping this key without being able to... Oh, I guess I got the tall jump from the... From the, the hat, but... I gotta deal with the ice physics. This is... This is a doozy. Spot? Oh, I guess I've got this again, so that's cool. Oh boy. Oh! No one told me that part was slippery. Oh! Dang it.
Ooh, Sonic the Hedgehog just, just went. Okay. Rip Sonic. Maybe one day we will enter that world of normality again. Uh, for the time being, uh, there's always lovely music. All the other things. I didn't listen to anything like hugely inspirational uh, over the past week, so I won't have any uh, Blendo deep cuts to suggest, but uh, I can definitely say that a, uh, an album that I'm uh, working my way through again, because it's a, it's a lengthy one, is uh, King Crimson's Meltdown the live album from 2018. Uh, the triple drum setup makes a lot more sense when you know what you're listening out for, uh, but you really gotta, like, know, like, when it's happening and what's happening there. Um, I think the issue is just that, yeah, there's too many parts that are the same. Oh, okay, okay. I, I wanted to chuck that and just give me a break. There we go. Uh, but no, it's, it's a main album. Uh, it's three CDs, so be prepared, it, it goes, but... Okay, okay, once more with feeling. Once more with feeling. No more falling off right away, I've even got the jet, but I gotta not throw this off. Uh... Does it go up? There you go. I think I just should just commit going up. <laughs> just, just go for that. Easy. There you go. That's an elusive hidden treasure, isn't it? You know what's the best part? There's one in core 16. <laughs> I'll get that, don't worry. Alright, and now fall down and hopefully fall into the center. There you go. Now I guess just try and end the level. Ooh, that's a that's a bit mean, isn't it? With the ice? Who did this? Who said yeah no 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 put the ice there? And put the bombs in here. And the hedgehog freaking Oh So many Sonic the Hedgehog characters in this game, isn't there? What is happening there? <laughs> Get that in there. I don't trust him. I don't trust this man. Oh, well, Mario still continues to get crushed by things. Not very, not very sound of you, Warrior. I see. He's happy there, though. Hey, still doing good. Nice. Good on you, Warrior. Yeah, I feel like my luck is actually, like, slightly better. Yep. We'll gradually make this one go up. And this leads to the other elusive level, level 19, that's right, it just keeps going. And I should have seen that one coming, actually I shouldn't really have seen that one coming, that was a bit of a king hit right there. Okay, I, I would appreciate some, some uh, power up. Not just, not just hearts. There you go. I knew they'd listen to me. Sweet. Get him out of here. <laughs> so many hearts. So many hearts. Wow. Like, they do really give you those, those bonuses, don't they? Uh, I'm gonna choose to just stick with the jet. 
<laughs> I, I don't really know how to explain those, uh... Oh, wow. Wow. All to get a heart. All to get a heart. Feeling rather disappointed about that decision. You know, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm playing it safe, I don't care. So, yeah, you spend the coins to, uh, to pay for the checkpoint. Um, I think it stays there, so you only have to pay for it once, uh, until you actually beat the level. Uh, you still lose all your coins when you die, I believe, but, uh, you'll, you'll see that theory put to the test if I actually die. So, it's still got a little bit of a, you know, you don't really want to die, but I guess the thing is that if you know you're, you're not really gonna make it first go, it ain't the worst then, because you're gonna lose all your coins anyway, so you might as well just put some into, into the checkpoint. This is uh, when a, uh, a game designer would tell you that's risk versus reward. I love it, I mean, it's just there. This looks like, the, yeah, the boss is right here. Alright, what do you do about this guy then? He's, he's, he's aggressive. And you jump on his head. Does he come up on top of you? Oh, he's thought of everything. He has thought of everything. What do you do if you can't charge? leave. Okay. Perhaps, maybe, he gives you a lot of, a lot of lives or, or coins or something, because obviously me not beating the boss meant no extra money on that one. Yeah, that, that's kind of annoying, I guess, because if you do have to be able to, to fight him like that, but... I mean, at least I'll let you leave, so... A little anticlimactic, though. But all you get is a little flag saying, Yes, indeed, you did clear the, the world. And interestingly, you can hit right, which goes into the world, but then down goes out into the world map. So... I believe this world is just, it's just there, it's just optional. So, uh, here we have Course 16. It's got a key right off the bat. I aren't holding any stops right here. So I guess the question is, where do you put the key? Again. Is it? Yeah, okay. We're good. <sighs> I know 100% that, like, the key needs to go in there, and it's just gonna be aggravating to have that in the way. Can't charge into them because they're on on the ground. Oh boy. Maybe I should just like basketball dunk the the key. Just be like, yeah, yeah, key goes over there. So yeah, just just yeet the key over. And then properly do the jump. Do that. That wasn't even it. I killed myself just for the perspective key that goes in there. Yeah, it should be this one then. Oh my gosh. I'm not good at this, am I? I'm really not good at this. Dude, you think you think I'm gonna be upset now? Why do you think I'd play any of the other ones? Cause that's that's the bizarre thing, is that this game is a precursor to what ends up being a puzzle platformer. As in a game that doesn't have a fail state, 
you just keep getting hit. And you just have to figure out the puzzle. It's it's genius, but it's also like, oh boy, like the, the physics and all that stuff all stay the same. Uh, so let me just put down the key. Put down the key. Yeah, that's a throw and a half. Put down the key. That's the door that I was looking for. physics right here. Yeah. Okay, okay. At least the nice thing is that if you do pick up the treasure, it stays picked up. You can die, you can uh, leave the level via the front. You're good. You're set on that front. So that's D. I've got the D now. So I'm feeling good about the D. Ah, uh, this is this is a jump for the ages right there. Was that even a jump? <laughs> Who knows? Now comes a bit of, uh, completing the level. Those enemies are always a bit of jerks, aren't they? That's the door. Um, oh, do I need the jet from like up there? Well, I guess I guess the jet would probably reach up there. But oh no, we've, well, we've got a switch, but I've also got the dragon. So, so I guess the question is, okay. All right, now we're all good. We're all good. But apart from having to nail a bit of platform in the end, yeah. Pull some more <laughs> brain damage. Barely had any coins to even do this level. Is it even worth it? Maybe. <laughs> Rather rich. Rather rich in it. Keeps getting the moolah. Where does he keep getting it from? And that leads also to the boss level. But there's one one more secret you can tell because there's you know the icon. Uh, obviously no no coin for me. Sorry, no key for me. I think this is probably gonna like continue on for a little bit. Uh, well, yeah, it's it's good. It's it's, it's stream day Monday. It's, it's dang it. I think that's something nice about the the routine of of getting into the stream and just kind of doing something. It's always good, and uh, and yeah, it gives me an opportunity to play a game that I had traditionally never really played well before, like legit. I don't think I'd seen this part of the game uh, before. They do give you enough points that they expect you to 
to get your way out like that. So yeah, there, there's another secret exit. I know, right? Secret exits up the wazoo. I guess the thing is that you kind of need to know the secret exits in order to get all the treasures, since the secret exits are, uh... Well, they're like they lead to levels almost all the time that have treasures. In the case of getting to this world that requires a secret level, and then getting to this level was... This level was actually the regular exit, but... <laughs> there's a secret level from that previous level, and then there's a secret level in this one. They got secret levels everywhere, man. Fortunately, this is not a secret level, so it's got that. So, can you get the key? Oh, we got the horns. Alright, through this. gotta go back here. We now have a ladder. I know, right? This is, again, this is this a Nintendo Power moment? I think it is a Nintendo Power moment. I guess you could just hit this guy's in the face. I don't know why I'm... Oh. We got Thwompies. Thwomps are insta-kill. Like, that, that's kind of cruel in this game. Oh, and then you gotta look at that key. I've got ledges. So I still gotta deal with these guys. Sprite limit, you can you can feel it just leaking. That's that's the thing. There's too many sprites going on. I think it's because, first of all, almost all these enemies and Warrior himself are four sprites. I nearly fell for that. Um, because things have to occupy outside the uh, the 8x8 range, so therefore it's technically four sprites. Um Eight by eight? I think that's... Maybe it's so too. I think it's so too. Sorry. Um, so the sprites themselves are 16 by 16. Oh. Well, that makes that a little easier to get through. And then, uh, yeah, because I turned that off. But as long as I don't get caught up by that guy, I'm good. Except I don't have a power-up. Ah! Oh! Now I gotta do this and then return when I've got a power up. <sighs> do you have to actually hit that? Yeah, you do. Okay. This is gonna be rather perilous to get back from. Ah. Oh. This happened to me. I've made my mistake. You know what makes me sad? You gotta actually get it as well. They put a power up in there as well. So, my excuse is that I butchered it to begin with. Alright. At least it's not, not too hidden, it's just like, you gotta know that you hit the switch and then go back. That is cruel though, like, nothing in the game particularly tells you which levels have the treasures. You know which ones have the... Have the, um, the secret exits, but the, the treasures? No, I don't think it actually says. I'm getting hearts. At least it's that. Uh. Uh. 
not e Oh, really? It drops down slightly on you, like... Unbelievable. Alright. Uh, at least I can be power up here as well. Alright, just don't let Sonic the Hedgehog get me here. Oh, he... Like, what... What part of him is, like, the attack part? It just, it just goes. He'll just get ya. Alright, at least I can get a power up here. So at least there's that. Oh, that sprite limit. It's real, it's really crying out there, isn't it? There we go. So now I have the uh, magic lamp. That's a, that's a bit of a later game, isn't it? Chuck it on the display, onto the cabinet. Okay, and now, for the remainder part of the level. Continuing on from here, we've got the Don't Touch the Floor. It's worse than the floor is lava when the floor is spikes. This is actually, like, horrendous to try and jump past. There we go. I've got the jet. I'm going. See ya, level. Kept the, the ground down. Whoops. There's no secret exit, so it's not like there can be a way out of this level that I don't know of. But they are mildly encouraging it. There's a lot of these hedgehogs! What are they all doing here? Who put them here? I ain't dealing with that. I ain't dealing with any of it. See ya. Level's done. See ya. I'm out. <laughs> I guess the question, is there any reason to even, like, finish the level? I don't know. Uh, so... Guinea, the gist of this bit is that I bet all my money away in a double or nothing game where you get three rounds to choose whether the left bucket will kill you or give you money. Uh, fortunately, the killing only halves your current money. So, the odds are you're gonna get close to double what you put in if you always go for this. And in my case, I got eight times what I put in. So, I'm a lucky guy in this instance. Uh, that gradual goal to 10,000 coins is definitely getting there, but it's not really a, uh, a faster way of doing it apart from, I guess, just grinding that, that minigame. Uh, just doing some short levels. It just, it just ends. That, that's that. That's that level. Uh, I think I've got time for one more level on the actual continuation of where this needs to, to be... Oh. There we go. So let's, let's continue on in this direction. And I had completed that level, and now we've got the best level. 21. I don't particularly know if it's the best level, but it's, it's A level. And I think A level is what I've been crying out for. Just something simple. No secret exits. No treasure. Just, just let me let me do a bit of simple platforming. And get some coins and worry about the platforms falling away from me. Like a wonderful metaphor, you know? Metaphor is this where I have to keep breaking bricks all the time. That is already the, the checkpoint. Is it necessarily halfway? Who knows, but the game considers it to be Oh, that's probably why. Good thing I have a jet and I can kinda cheese most of the platforming. See your level. See your level. Oh, <laughs> nearly got me with that one. Okay, when I said one more level, I was, I was expecting a little longer than that, but I think it'll, it'll be a good spot to, to leave it there.
and because the game is probably upset that I'm about to leave it, it's probably going to be like, nah, you get no money now. No money. Well, you can't beat them all. You can't beat them all. That's an unfortunate fact of life. Oh well. So, with that, that's uh, nowhere near 10,000 treasure, but it's getting there. So, yeah, I, I, I do expect that I could probably finish this next, next week in the same two-hour block of window. But for now, I think that would be a good spot to hold it off for this week. Um, so, with that, I would like to say thank you guys very much for watching if you are on Twitch. The follow is always there if you're on YouTube. The follow is, the, the subscribe is always there, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, if, you, if you're new, there's a stream every week at this time, and I just will continue playing the random games that I keep always playing. Uh, and if you really, really enjoy this stuff, then please feel free to watch all the stuff that's always uploaded onto YouTube, um, including my very old stuff where I may have played this game when I was 12 years old. Other than that, have a great week. Hopefully, your week is absolutely fantabulous. Um, hopefully, you don't uh, run the slots all the time and let Wario take the, the 10-ton weights on his head. Uh, but if you do, don't feel too bad, because you always get an eighth of your coins anyway. So, you're getting something at least. Anyways, have a good one, everyone.